Hi, this is Kylie Koo. Welcome to my studio. In a recent video, I mentioned the Rejuvenate Creative Carers Group run by Maggie. I was making Caring Heart ATCs for them. Now, Maggie has kindly sent me out one of the kits that she sends out to the group. I'm just showing you here a postcard from Karen Harmer, an artist. And this one is from Jeanette McCulloch. So these were included with the kit. Now I'm going to make something today. You don't need this kit to make this. I'm just doing this as a kind of demonstration to show what can be done with this sort of kit. But it includes a number of papers and collage items that you might have to hand. So here I'm just showing you what was in the kit. Some kind of thin cardboard, some paper pack paper, this lollipop stick, a tea bag. By the way, that's the fringes of my scarf you see at the bottom of the screen there. It was kind of cold when I was filming. And there was also this lovely handmade envelope with some pieces of collage material in it and various words cut out of magazines. So I'm just going to show you these. As I say, you may have lots of these types of things on hand. So if you would like to join in with this, you don't have to have this kit. As I say, these kits are only for members of that particular group. So what I've decided to do with this is it is a collage kit. I've decided to make two little collage books and I'm just going to take you through how I've made those. As well as the papers and collage materials there's this treble clef stencil and there's also a little paint palette and I'm going to try and use everything that's here. So let's get started. I'm going to take this larger piece of the cardstock. As I say, it's like a kind of thin cardboard. I'm just folding that in half and then I'm actually going to tear it in half using the lollipop stick as a kind of bone folder. But I just want to make these little kind of mini collage journals. So getting a good fold in it and then I will simply cut it down. I think I was going to tear it and then I changed my mind and decided to use scissors. So I've got three pieces roughly the same size, but I'm going to put one to the side because I'll use that for other things. I'm then just going to fold that in half and I'll fold the other one in half because as I say, I'm making two. And then I'm going to go through the papers and I will half some of them. I'll go through the collage materials and I'll look at which ones can go in which little journal. Just using my corner punch there, I just like the corners on some things to be rounded. Now just tearing those papers down to size. That one I think is slightly bigger than the little journal, but I don't mind if papers stick out a little bit. So just doing that with them all. And then as I say, I will sort out the other papers that might then become pages in the journal. So just showing you that as it progresses. Now you could also fold the postcards in half. You could use them as a journal cover or include them. I just felt they were too nice. I didn't want to do that at this point, but I will include them in another album at some point. Now I'm including these as a single signature. So all the papers go inside each other and I'm going to stitch these into my cover. I've put this on at normal speed just so I can do it slowly. So I'm basically going to pierce a hole in the middle. You could do this with a needle because these pages are not very thick. So a hole in the middle, one above that, just making sure that I am going to catch all my papers. Then one at the other end. So you can see the three holes there. Now I've got a needle with some, I think it's a kind of embroidery floss. I'm just going to put that through the middle hole, leaving that tail. I'm going to go up to the top hole, poke it through, 
Then I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom hole, poke it through, and then I'll go through the middle hole, making sure that my needle comes out on the other side of that piece of thread so that I can then tie it off. And I'm then just going to leave long tails because I might add something to the tails in future. Now, I do have lots of no sew videos, no sew journal videos, so I'll put a link to the, those above below and indeed at the end of this video. So just tying that off and I did exactly the same with the other little journal. And I'm just going to use the little paint palette along with the stencil. I'm not putting the complete stencil on it. I just want it to make, make it look almost as if it's kind of coffee cup stains or teacup stains. So not using the full thing, although it would be a nice stencil to use, but just making marks really with the cover, just to put a little bit of interest on the cover. And I'm also just going to put a little bit of paint on some of the inside pages. Not a lot, just a little bit in the middle there just to use some paints and to add a little bit of interest to these pure white pages. Now I've pulled out some washi tapes just to add a little bit of interest but this would be one of the ways you could do this as a no sew journal. Just taking some washi tape and simply sticking the pages in this way. It's a bit easier if all the pages are the same size, but it can still be done where pages are of different sizes. I'm now going to use the other bit of cardstock just to make some little tuck pockets. So just some little places throughout the journal where I can tuck other things into. So just cutting that piece of cardstock, deciding whether I want to make it the full length of the page or smaller pieces. And you'll see I start here, thought about doing a square, but then I cut that into triangles and I put one at the back and one at the front. Now when I come to glue the pages down or glue some of the collage down into the book, I'm using a glue stick, but for this I just used a slightly heavier glue, looking there at putting a bit of collage onto that page beforehand. So I just simply tore that in half and I'm just going to use a glue stick now to put that down and into place. And all I'm doing here really is creating some pages with background interest that in future I could add more to if I wanted. So there you see just using a slightly thicker glue, a stickier glue really, just to, because the cardstock's that bit thicker, it probably needed something a little bit more than a glue stick. And of course I was just trying to glue the actual edges and I put one in at the back as well. And here I use one of the more decorative pieces again, just to create a little tuck spot. Here I cut a piece to make it a small pocket the entire length of the page. And again, I'll just glue that into place. So I work my way through both journals, just adding little tucks and little pockets here and there. Now I start to look at adding some of the collage to the pages and where the images are too big or uh, I want to use it in a couple of different places, then I simply tear them in half. And this is just to start building some interest onto my pages. Now, I like this little page, but it was just going to be too big 
So I just trim it down the sides a couple of times just to get it into the size that's going to fit because what I decide to do with this page is to make it a flip out. And you'll see that in just a moment. So just looking at where it might go and all I'm going to do is to take some of my washi tape again and I will stick that into place. And this is a great way to add extra pages to your journal if ever you want to or if uh, there's something that you want to just create a bit of interest by having something below it partially hidden and it's just nice to have things to, to flip out. So just looking for where I'm going to put it, I line it up with the edge of that other page and just fold the washi tape over. And then it can flip either way. It could go that way or it can flip to the other side. And what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of washi tape on that side as well. I love this image with the welly boot, so just looking at where I might include it. Again, I just trim it down ever so slightly. And then all I'm going to do is to glue that into place as well. So I've now made a little tag. I glued a piece of the paper to a piece of the cardstock and I'm literally just going to use a little bit of the fabric that was included in the kit and I'm just going to staple that in place. Now you might not actually see me stapling because I had to hold it closer to myself to be able to, to see where I was putting the staples. And there we go. That makes a nice little tag and can go into one of those tuck spots. So, as well as sticking down images, I'm looking at some of the word confetti, as Maggie calls it. Uh, some of that was included in the kit, and walk just seemed to go very well with the welly boot. So, just looking at a few of those, and I will go through both the little journals there, and look to put some of them down. Now, some of them, there wasn't perhaps an image that went well with them, but, you know, that's the thing. You can just stick them down and it might provide a bit of inspiration for the next time. This image saying use your dustpan and brush was reminding me that I had outstanding chores to do. So what's the best thing to do? It's kind of like sweeping it under the carpet. I just covered it over so it wasn't a reminder to me. And then just added some more word confetti. I then saw the tea bag and I thought, well, I shall have that tea later, but meantime I can use the little bag that's come in as a pocket and all I do is I glue it down and into place. I also took the little tag from the end of the tea bag string, a piece of the cardstock I just folded that over and then I'm going to glue that on as a tab on the tag. Put a little bit of glue on but I think I also staple it down and into place as well. And then I'll just pop that into the tea bag pocket. So I've used virtually every item in these little journals, even the little paper clip that was included. And you'll see I've made little tags and pockets. I've glued some images down, glued my tea packet down. And this is something that I can keep adding to or I could write in it. Plenty of room to write things. Here's the other little one. Just stuck a bit of cardboard on with some washi tape and a word on top of that. So this was a fun little kit to work with. As I say, if you have any materials like this uh, lying about, then you can make something like this very easily. So if you want to see the No Sew journals, do check out the playlist. But thanks, Maggie, for sending this to me. I hope it gives you and your group some other ideas for what to do with the collage kit. So as always, thanks so much for watching. 
please do take care and I hope to see you next time. Oh, I decided I better measure it just over two and three quarter inches by about four inches. So a nice little mini journal. Bye for now.